Right now, white boys have the hardest chances to book jobs. Yeah, so Jeff gave me some Viagra. Yeah, like there's a sucking machine sucking on the dick for a week. I'm not a doctor, but there are opportunities to make your dick okay. bigger. It's me, Mario. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to Uncensored, the podcast where I give it to you guys raw. That's the new tagline, I guess. That's what we're landing on. <laughs> and guys, today is not just myself. I have two beautiful guests right here, two of my very good friends. Uh, one of them, you know, Jeff Kasser. You know him, you love him. And the second one, it's a real German. He's uh, from the motherland, Germany. Yeah, He is uh, a TikTok. You maybe have seen him walking past on your TikTok, right, giving you the POV look. He has over two million followers, I believe. He's a teenage heartthrob. Fabiano, Fabi let's give it up, let's give it up for him, let's give it up for him. Let's go. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate that. And you guys know each other, right? Yeah, since like oh, yeah. four years. Four years yeah. ago. How did you meet Jeff Kasser? I think I slid in your DMs, I was like, yo, He slides into single? DMs usually. Are you, you single? Had, you had a girlfriend at that time. That's true. I believe. Yeah. That and then he met Fabian and that thing ended real quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? He said, you yeah. got to go. I, there's a new boy in town. <laughs> <laughs> Has Jeff ever like come on to you a little bit? Has he little bit, been a little too flirtatious? No. No? No. He can tell that I'm super straight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Super straight. Super straight. Super like straight. Back <laughs> in the days, like in 2018, yeah. like super super straight super super straight Jeff I can see Jeff being the type of guy who's like uh, you know walking around a club like a lion no yeah he was like trying, trying to, to hit all the girls all yeah. the girls and always you hear that girls how yeah. did they go for you Jeff <laughs> the girls yeah it was going uh, well they start running from me they start running I'm in that predator mode <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can you see know, that I, I, I think know. actually they were quite interested yeah, See? let's go. He let's go. I mean, me. no, you have the. That's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> he was like the craftsman back in the days. Do you, did you hear this, yeah. Riley? <laughs> God, they think I'm just chopped Jeff, liver. What's your pickup here? line when you go up to a girl, though? Well, I used to drop the Tennessee one on them. The Tennessee one. Oh, I heard that a lot. Yeah, right, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, so all right, guys. Jeff just got back from Germany. He flew to Berlin to to take some photographs. Very questionable. Very sexy photos. And I want to hear, I haven't, you, we haven't talked about this because we want to save it for the podcast. So Jeff, you came back from Berlin and we're both from Germany. Did you experience any Berlin techno sex orgies while you were there? I did. Okay, good, actually. good, good, good. good. <laughs> now, did I participate? That's questionable. But yo, it's so cool because first of all, the clubs open on Friday night. Yeah. And they don't close till like Monday. I know. So you can go get a wristband on Friday. Yeah. And then just come back whenever you want. Yeah. Did That's you so do that? Cool. I only went two nights. I'm actually not that big of a partier, despite what it looks like. <laughs> but uh so we went to Bergheim on Bergheim. Saturday. Bergheim. 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 You gotta say Bergheim. like a German. Bergheim. 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 Yeah. The infamous <laughs> Bergheim. What? In the, the famous. Infamous. Yeah. Infamous. Infamous. infamous? Berüchtigt. Berühmt, oh, berüchtigt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sei berüchtigt. Uh, berüchtigt. <laughs> berüchtigt Bergheim. Berüchtigt Bergheim. <laughs> Here we go. All my German followers. Uh, anyway, so first of all, I can't name the the guy that took me because he would kill me. Yeah, yeah. But he pulled this fucking badass move. We walk up. There's a there's a line like two football fields long. Yeah. And he looks at me and he goes, "Shut the fuck up and do what I say. Follow my lead." Oh, I can just totally see that. I can totally see that. Yeah. Walks us right to the front. We just stand next to someone. Literally, two football fields long. Just walk us, stand next to someone. Like, what's up? Nobody knew anything. So they're not letting in about. 90% of the people. Yeah. Up. But you can't tell because what they're doing is they're rerouting people out a different way. Okay. So as you're walking up, nobody's walking by you. Yeah. So you think everyone's going in. And uh -huh. as you walk up, they're basically saying everyone, they're just like, they look them up and down. They're just like, that way, that way. Everybody's very polite. They're very polite with it. And they look at us, me and my friend. Okay. I was like kind of dressed apart. I mean, my friend dressed me. It was just basically a blackout. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. Kind of as you have business. to, yeah. But my friend was dressed with like the straps and shit like that. And like yeah. Lots of dangly jewelry like Riley. And uh, <laughs> the bouncer's just like, I think it's like a famous bouncer, but he just looks him up and down. He's like, okay, you too. Come on in. And it was like, I was like, yes, it's wow. fucking Christmas. So we walk in. It's actually Saturday night, so it's like kind of dead. I heard Sunday's the day. Yeah. And it's very grungy. It's super dark. Everybody's doing drugs in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it's, Berlin. Yeah, it's weird because so Berlin at the Berlin clubs they really search you hard everywhere yeah. you go. But then when you go in the clubs, everybody's doing drugs. And yeah. Then. Luckily, I wasn't doing any drugs, but I did bring some weed. I figured that like that's my kind of you know I'm not gonna do any hard drugs. I'm gonna do some weed. We're in the bathroom. We're doing. We're, I'm smoking some weed. Girls come up. They say, "Hey, can I have a hit of that?" They take a hit and then just just bury their tongue down my throat and i was like okay. this is cool if my girlfriend watches this this i'm just making this up okay and, <laughs> but here's where things took a turn on the weird side i'm like on the dance floor just like zombied out right like yeah this is great this is great then i go i try to go to the bathroom and i walked in to what i thought was the bathroom and it's so dark in there i'm looking for a urinal and then i realize that I'm in a fuck room. Mm, yeah. But it's so dark, you can't even really tell when you first walk in. You're like, I'm like, where's the pisser? Bro, there were so many girls in there, which really surprised me. I thought it would be all dudes fucking in there. No, yeah. there was a lot of girls. Yeah. So immediately I was kind of frightened. I turned around and I started to walk out and I was like, wait a second. Because there were girls, he was frightened. Yeah. <laughs> wait was a, a second. Bunch of dudes, different story. <laughs> I'm not going to get this moment again because you can't find this shit in LA. Maybe it's like super underground or something. Mm. So I said, you know what? Let's just turn around and vibe out a little bit. So I just kind of started walking around in there and just kind of giving people some winks, <laughs> making some noises like, oh, yeah, fucking get that pussy, get that pussy, get that ass, yeah. And then, like, I thought I was being weird. That sounds very weird, man. So, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be honest. Like, that's. I was yeah. trying to cheer him on, though. Yeah, I actually, yeah. I think what you do in Berkham is you go straight on and just go to them and just kiss them and whatever. Like, go for it. <laughs> You Tell me more. Like, Have you done this? No, I've never done it. But this is how I would like experience it. Or, like think how it would be. Okay. Just, okay. Like, just like go straight on because in back home, but, everyone but, but, but is there for like. still ask for consent, whatever you do. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> but like, you know, but just more private. Just, like, just take your dick see. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about it. I did think about it. It was so dark in there. I, like, I can get away with this. <laughs> so I didn't really do anything. I was just kind of, I felt like I needed to do something because I'm watching these people fuck. So I was like. Kind of acting like I was like, you know. Started jerking off? I act. I was like, oh, yeah, that's fucking hot. And then just at some point, it just kind of felt weird being in there solo. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like touching the ground like, am I sticking on some shit everywhere? Uh, uh, but uh. it was a sight to see. And uh, I would have just pulled up a lawn chair in there. But again, you can't come to a party like that empty handed, right? You're supposed to. I heard all those sex parties. You're supposed to bring a female is what I've been told. Uh yeah to i mean yeah shows. yeah i guess that's usually the thing for orgies i went to burning man there's an orgy tent right but like burkheim started as a gay club right so i was assuming there's a big gay scene as well you know and yeah so well, you definitely, saying you surprised there's a lot of females in there right too right i mean wow. definitely mostly men yeah but everybody's like kind of quiet it wasn't mm -hmm. like just rambunctious fucking everywhere or anything yeah but i was surprised at how many females were in there cool i was like i like this place Damn. All right, Jeff. You went all out cool. with that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't drop my drawer, so don't. No. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all right. Wait, so Fabian, because you're German. You're a real German. You were both from Germany, <laughs> I've right? I've never been to Bergheim. You've never been to Bergheim, no? I've never been to Bergheim. He's a very un German. But you also, you, did you live in Berlin ever? Nah, I don't like Berlin. You don't like nah, Berlin? I don't like Berlin. Wow. But Berlin's not German. Nee. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's different. very different. It's very it's different. Like if you compare like whatever, like Munich, Hamburg, Cologne. So you like Oktoberfest? Is that more your party uh, that vibe? That is more my party vibe. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I like Mallorca, Spain. Mallorca. Mallorca. Bye, my buddy, Mallorca. Listen, I 100% disagree with you. Yeah. I like the dark <laughs> Berlin fucking techno clubs. Uh, so I want well, music I... where it's like a drill hammer followed by just the hammer hitting walls. Like, cheap. <laughs> that's what I want because I think here's the thing techno gangbang clubs in Berlin as we call them yeah. there's a level of openness and and almost like a community in that scene which that's beautiful whereas a lot of other parties there's a lot of that like masculinity trying to hook up with girls you know I mean except for Jeff who was like poncing around the dark room you know with his wiener but um, I think it's, it's a different vibe it's different energy yeah. but I think you're like talking about the hip-hop clubs like the drake clubs yeah yeah but i was talking about like schlager like oh, country for, music oh like, wow like, so old school wow. german not old school i but mean like, like yeah, the, the, the new school like schlager like um ich will ficken, 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 ficken. <laughs> i translate the lyrics are i want to fuck fuck 
fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's but it. But you have to sing it. You just yeah. said it. Yeah. I want to fuck, 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 Yeah, this is one of the main. I see. Yeah. So like half naked singer on the on the on the on the stage, and um um and like on there like nobody is actually like super like masculine and like whatever like outgoing. It's more like party vibe. I see. I think that's more the hip hop crowd I'm yeah, talking about. Maybe crowd, that's like, like everyone you know, is like, trying to like beat overbeat everyone and just like yeah, I'm, the and, I'm the biggest biggest. And it's not best. as free. I feel like there's such a freedom. At Ber- I'm not into like any kinky sex stuff yeah. necessarily, but I can appreciate like Berlin clubs, the openness and the energy of just like full self expression without like any restraints. It's more like you know you're just there for the music. But I see that with Schlager, you know, if you're like, oh, yeah. I want to fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> that's just, it's the same uh, thing, Burkheim, like the techno vibe is similar to Carnival and Schlager and stuff. Because like huh. Carnival, you can be whatever you want, whoever you want. You can like, it's like very open-minded. Yeah. And it's like everyone, that's why like Cologne is very open-minded in general. Yeah. That's but where because, you're from? Like, yeah, I'm Cologne. Cologne. Yeah. So um, I think you can actually compare like the the vibe of, of like music, carnival and slogan and whatever, like country music with Berkheim, mm. techno, okay, like cool. the vibe, yeah. vibe of people, because it's not like trying to like show off or anything. Okay, so what we through is right. So you're born in Cologne, yeah, and now you live in LA. You just moved here, uh, yeah, sort of, right? Yeah, two months ago, yeah. So what's your main? You do TikTok. I do TikTok. I do modeling. I do acting. I, I start acting. Okay, and um, Instagram. And then also, I've been building up my own fashion brand. Okay. Yeah, you're very you're entrepreneurial. Like, yeah, you're like one of the first guys actually know that. Even my own community doesn't know that I'm working on a fashion oh brand. Oh my God, breaking <laughs> so fucking news, guys. It's like yeah. the first drop No, right I now. can see that because your stuff is very, you do a lot of fashion stuff and the suits and everything. Um, walk me through this. How do they work out? You're right. You were, you're born in Cologne. You're like on a bench, drunk, yelling, oh, I want to fuck, 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 tits, tits, tits. <laughs> to moving to LA, what was the process like? When you start modeling, why did you start modeling? Like, how's, how did it all start? Um, I got famous as a musician back in Germany, and then as a musician, <laughs> <laughs> boy band. I was like, okay. I was like, he actually wrote the song. <laughs> I, my I lyrics, song. I wrote. The, I'm a songwriter in Germany. I'm known for pieces I like actually, that, fuck, fuck, fuck. That would be my Z plan, like plan Z to like do music because I can't sing. Yeah, but like on Slaga and country music, everyone can sing. Yeah. So uh, that would be my plan Z, but yeah. Um, <laughs> plan Z, I've never heard Plan Z. Um, plan Z? So Z is Z? I think it's called Plan B. Plan B? Prevent B. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Yeah, but <laughs> it's my plan, plan Z. Okay. <laughs> is that right for you? Plan Z. Yeah. So yeah, um, did my school, high school, um, did a dual studies as an insurance merchant. Oh shit. Yeah, so just so some real German shit for yeah, you. Yeah, real German right. shit. My you dad going is down the path. Mer- insurance mer- merchant, so. Um, what is your dad? Insurance merchant. Oh, insurance. Okay. So I yeah. stepped in, my, in the foot footsteps of my dad, and then um, did a dual studies, and um, finished that. Actually, kind of smart guy. I got a sponsorship from like one of the biggest insurance companies in Germany. But I told myself, okay, like I don't want to like work in a bus- like in an office, yeah, for, like for uh, sure, nine yeah. five, like, and um, wanted to go to Australia, so moved to Australia for backpacking in twenty eighteen. Did mm. um, and then actually I got scouted for like modeling and stuff. Oh, in um, Australia. In Australia. So how did that work? You were just like walking on the beach. No, actually you know? I was. I was like I was taking pictures like a photo at FIBO, the fitness fair, like one of the mm-hmm. biggest fitness fairs in Germany or like yeah. the biggest. Um, a photographer came up to me, um, wanted to take some pictures, so I already took some pictures um, while I was doing the dual studies. Then um, the followers increased, and when I was in Australia, I had like 100k followers, 150, uh-huh. and I got invited. Like I was staying at a hostel, but I got invited to a Boda Skins event. Like to what? Boda, Boda skins, skins, like the leather jackets. Oh, okay. Um, got invited to there, and there I met um, this guy. His name is C H R A R L I E. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, yeah, he introduced me to his manager and then he wanted to represent me as a model and as like a talent. Um, and from that on, I was living in Sydney for eight months and doing modeling. And so you do modeling in Australia? Yeah. Is there modeling in Australia? You can actually... Yeah, yeah? with I the mean, kangaroos. Sure, yeah. With the kangaroos. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, like Crocodile Dundee shit. You were a cro- k- kangaroo model. I fuck with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, like that. That's, that's good modeling, to be honest. And good okay. photog- very good photographers, beach photographers. Um... 
uh, my favorite pet subsidiary. Um, oh yeah, actually, uh, you know, I was chatting with the guy because I was in Sydney for a while. Yeah, yeah, he's to, he's I, super good. Yeah, yeah, and super nice. I I lived in I was in New Zealand when I was eighteen. We have a pretty similar life, actually. I mean, we're both Germans. When I was eighteen, I went to New Zealand for a year, and then I had this guy who's a Filipino photographer, and he had me had serious Filipino as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the thing there. But this the guy was not. This guy was not. He was a doctor actually, and he was taken. It was on the site called Model Mayhem, and he took very questionable photos of me. I remember there was a piano involved and there was I was definitely new. It was a very artistic thing. But now, back in the day, I was like, yo, this guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> you know, I was like, <laughs> what I'm doing right now is art. You know, I'm like playing a piano half nude. But now looking back, I'm like, yo, this is this was really not good photography. It was very not good. But hey, this guy let me sleep at his place in exchange for taking photos of me and for painting the fence of his uh, place in New Zealand, like Naked? doing some... <laughs> yeah, is that, is that code <laughs> and word? And taking for... pictures of that. <laughs> no, no, actually, right. I was, I was, I was, I was Sounds fully... Sounds like a good plan I was, for a free bet. <laughs> you know, I've, got, I've, got some, I've done some weird shit. But yeah, so that that, I, that happened to me as well. And I started modeling sort of like, I mean, I did some shoots in New Zealand, then I went, went back to, and then I went to New York, uh, where a guy invited me to stay in his apartment in Harlem. Um, so there's a theme. There's a theme, guys, of me staying at people's apartments and they take naked photos of me. Yeah, <laughs> that's good to know. Like I've I've never done that, but we have a pretty similar life. Yeah, <laughs> other than that, <laughs> everything is pretty do. much the same. Yeah. yeah, no, but like you know, we went to uh, New Zealand, Australia, whatever. You know, so yeah. There, I yeah. think you experience a lot, and like your your mind grows so much when you are overseas and like so. Far oh, for away. sure, yeah. And, and I think have you ever been away from Tennessee, where you're from? <laughs> Are you from Tennessee? Texas. Not too much. Sorry, Texas. You know, I came to Germany to model, and I modeled a little bit, but they said I was too big. I said, do you mean my Johnson or like from top to bottom? Definitely not the Johnson, Jeff. I said, your well, Johnson. Not to you, but definitely not going to be an issue with that. <laughs> definitely not going to have um, yeah, any I problems. I was never lean enough to hit that European market, you know? But have you, like, when did you start modeling? I don't want to give my exact age in here because he tells everybody I'm 59 and they believe him. No, 61. That's what he said. 60 so Yeah, yeah he's you turning 60 in September. Yeah. yeah, his birthday's coming up in the month. Yeah. But no, I'm an, Amer I'm an all-American model, as they call me. I but can see that. I can see that yeah, too. Yeah, you, you've got the look for it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look. Germany, you guys, I don't know what it is, but you weren't into me, even though I'm 60% German. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if I look at it or not. What's your, what's your last name? Kasser. Kasser. Uh, so fucking German, yeah. yeah. Kasser. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, basically Australia. Let's continue the story. Australia, back, um, and then continued modeling Singapore, three months, three months, Milan, got signed in LA with a model agency, went to LA for three, two months. Then I met this legend, um, legend for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Doom? <laughs> <laughs> you showed me the ways, the TikTok ways early on there. We got TikTok. some vibes. Well, it was still Instagram. But it was still Instagram, but we uploaded it on TikTok. Yeah, it went viral. Went me. viral. I was like, thank mm -hmm. you. All right. Well, so how did that start for you? Just like, um, did you always know social media was going to be important when you were remodeling? Because you said you had some followers when you were uh, scouted in Sydney already. Yeah. Um, so I just uploaded the pictures and I didn't think about anything. I just wanted to do it because I wasn't like a cool kid in school. I was okay. like... I got bullied and stuff like that. I never had like any girls looking up to me or, or like, even down because I was smaller than them. <laughs> also, you were short. You were like, I was like super short. Like oh, I was like okay. one year younger than everyone else. And, um, like a head shorter. Pretty oh, much. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And had pretty good degrees and whatever. So, um, oh, okay. So got yeah. bullied a bit. Um, and I just wanted to show everyone that I can change myself, that I can go to the gym. So I went to the gym when I was 16, hit the gym. Oh, wow. And it's I one of those stories. Story. Yeah. And then, um, like the likes and falls just gave me like self-confidence. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And build up my self, uh, self-esteem. Yeah. Um, so I didn't think about any like business plans to yeah. that time. You just wanted that validation, you know? Yeah. Because fucking, you know, Henrique back in third grade bullied you, you know? Son of a bitch. <laughs> it was Jessica. It was Jessica. Jessica. <gasps> fuck Jessica. Yeah, Jessica. Shout out to Jessica. So many Jessicas. Oh, fuck yourself, right? Now. <laughs> Isn't that Jessica. how you kind of got started doing content for you? I thought you said it was sort of for validation. <laughs> Wait, what? You told um, me that to... Um, you're always looking to, to please people or to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe. For me, it's a little different story. I wasn't necessarily bullied. Actually, there was one guy. He's actually one of my good friends now. He was bullying me. Maybe it's something because I did pretty well in school as well. Maybe it's a thing. If you do well in school, people are like bullying you. And he called me. He called me. Uh, 
a teacher's pet and gay. Those two things when I was younger. What's, what's you draw the line? What is Streber. The Streber. Streber, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher's pet? Yeah, whatever like it is. the translation. Yeah, I guess so, That's right? You say it, yeah, yeah, if you have like a grades like, and you get a... Because I, I got along pet. with most people, you know, I was like... I learned something today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Write that down your vocabulary list. Teacher's pet. Yeah, I was a teacher's pet. Yeah, big same time. Bro. <laughs> same bro, same bro. I like teachers yeah. and teachers like me. Yeah, me too. But then other kids <laughs> didn't like the fact that I liked the teachers and then they want to bring me down and called me gay. And the most annoying teachers were like the teachers that liked me the most yeah 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 i can i can relate to that i can relate to that yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah and then it was like this whole thing of like um sure i mean you get social media you get like you, you can you can you can kind of counter that and fight it with all your strength riley were you red bullied in school no not at all, not at all? okay no, not even a little bit dope how about you jeff <laughs> uh a tiny bit because i was like the youngest one in my grade okay do, do you have like siblings One younger brother. All mm. right. I think it's like it's harder if you are the older brother. I was the older brother as well yeah. because you have to build the family's name, oh, basically, wow. and that's a hard challenge. I agree with that. Because like there were other kids and they had like older brothers, and if we had like problem whatever, like he would always always like bring his older brother, and I didn't have like cousins or whatever, so. Damn, because in Germany the most yeah. common thing is when there's especially Turkish people bring your brother. You know, no, they bring they they call the cousins, the cousins. cousins they go like and whatever. Yeah, they go like hol meine cousins, man, and then they they bring their cousins and you fuck. They stick dich up on the yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Are yeah. Germans aggressive like the bullier? So where I'm from in Tennessee, there was a lot of like you know fights yeah, but after I think, school. I think it's like different in the US. They just get guns and like <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly you get <laughs> <laughs> in True. Germany they just punch each other and like here you have knives you have like everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's a true story. So in America, you bring guns too. Has there yeah. been any like, have you ever been afraid in school that like a fight would just escalate and somebody would like just bring a machete or a gun or something or a tank? I don't know the military budget. I don't fucking know. Well, I still don't think guns are that popular in high school because they're not that. <laughs> Did you not, have a gun? They're not that cheap. No, I didn't. My parents are super liberal, so we never had guns. All right. Lame. But most people do have like shotguns or like. It's for hunting mostly, you know? All right. But anyways, so there's not kids. a ton of guns. There's a lot of fights though. And there's a lot of that like, you know, toxic masculinity, I guess, where you've got to show your shit after the school, you know, you best with someone, meet me in the parking lot, motherfucker. And I'm wow. Like, I was small because I was the youngest one in class. So I didn't do a lot of fighting until I grew up. And then that anger came and out. And then it came, and then now he's fighting people all the time. He's fighting all the liberals in LA. Crazy. You know? <laughs> Fucking libs everywhere. You were the guy like in TV last week, running around Hollywood Boulevard down here, punching all the people. With my pants off? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was me. Did that happen? <laughs> sure enough. No, I don't fight these days. It takes getting punched Not naked in the face. or not in general? Naked I do fight. All right. Yeah, but naked that, fighting he does like. He does like those like things, yeah. No, you get punched in the face one time and then you learn, you know. All right. Okay. I've never so gotten punched in the face, man. You would never have. I'm too have, quick. Have, All they right. won't hit me. It's no, I'm kidding. You are the way I've you never, are. So here's the thing about Germany. At least where I'm from, I'm from a small town. What's your town? Is it Cologne, Cologne? Or did you small? No, it's like a small town. Small it's town? It's What is it? Wermutskirchen. Wermutskirchen? Wermutskirchen. 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 Kitchen. <laughs> That's it, almost, yeah. Kirchen is actually church, so Wermuth oh, Kirchen. Oh, Kirchen, Kirchen, Kirchen. Wermuth Kirchen. Dope. Yeah. yeah, I'm from a small town in the south of Germany called... Wermuth Kirchen. Alpiersbach. Im Hochschwarzwald. Anyways. Im Bergischen Land. Im Hochschwarzwald. Ich liebe Wermuth Kirchen aus dem Bergischen Land. Im Bergischen Land, okay. Ich liebe Wermuth Kirchen aus dem Bergischen Land. So, I feel like in Germany, this is like, it's so protected. There's no crime. There's no drugs. My girlfriend, for example, she grew up in Chicago. She's telling me these stories about, oh, her brothers, they had like gang violence in Chicago. You know, there's like gun shootings all the time. Like, yo, this is so far away from what I've experienced in Germany. Yeah. I grew up in this protected environment. I didn't even see drugs the first, the only until thing I, I moved to high. <laughs> the first thing and the only thing I only did and saw was like, we were trying to throw stones to each other on the soccer field. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was like the real thing we've That's done. That's some Bible <laughs> shit. That's like some Jesus shit. You trying to stone somebody like just? <laughs> we didn't have like guns, so we had to take stones. Wow. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, kids are wild, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but now you're here. Now you made it. Now you're in a place that's no, no, even, even more unsafe. You know, you're not, not here in LA though. Not here in LA. But literally in LA, I don't know. You might want to reconsider moving here because a couple of weeks ago. 
two blocks from here, a dude was shot. Did you see him? No, but I saw the car. I was with my friend, Travis, and the car, the vehicle that he, he fled the crime scene was pulled over in a parking lot where I was at having a tea. And they pulled him out with guns and stuff. Like the police came in and like uh, just pulled that guy out of his car. And he was the guy who committed the crime. And it's just like crazy to live in a place where like people just get shot, <laughs> you know, like a block from my home. It's just, yeah, welcome well, to LA. Who, who, who shot who? The police a, a, shot the guy. No, a dude shot a person and then he got ca he got caught by the police. <clears throat> yeah. oh, Are you crazy. against guns? People owning guns, Mario? Depends no, I'm not that. to I'm, take this political. Let's do. Let's go full politics, everybody, guys. When they're like, you know, uh, uncensored. Un it's uncensored, guys. It's uncensored. Also, subscribe because why not? So check it out. Uh, guns. I think when you if like banning guns would not be a solution because banning guns would just open an, another like black market. What's banning guns? Like, like for be ban forbidden. Yeah. yeah, like in Germany, you can have guns in Germany, but I think yeah. at this point it's so ingrained like American culture. I think the problem is more like. Americans, <laughs> as opposed to the guy. I don't know if banning guns would change much because if somebody wants to do something, they can probably do it. Um, but <clears> I think it's, it's, it's always uh, pros to, and cons. To, to be honest, they are not choosing to take guns. It's more like the whole gang shit. I think gang members don't choose to become a gang member. They don't have any other way to go get out of like the street and whatever yeah so it's more about the politicians in the u.s they fuck up big time and Jeff, what do you have to say about that <laughs> and they, they have to they have to change anything you're saying something. as far as like ease of access to get to yeah like yeah. in general like you, you see like beverly hills they're like so many super rich people um trump for example like he could easily give like whatever like half of his income out to help like the minority of like people living on the street, whatever, like build huge houses and whatever, mm -hmm. just to, because our scissor between rich and poor is going further and further. Yeah. Like from year to year. And in like 100, 200 years, it will be like Tribute von Panem. Tribute von Panem. What is that called in English? Uh, tri tribute from Panem. <laughs> hunger, hunger Games? Hunger Games, hunger yeah. Games, yeah, yeah. In like two, three, four hundred years, it would be like hunger, hunger Games. Like District 13 will be like the poor minority. And then we have like District 1 where everyone is just crazy wow. dressed. Let's you just make I mean? sure we're crazy dressed, guys. Let's just make sure we're hustling. <laughs> so, you know. yeah, you know what I mean? And I yeah. think it's about the politicians to like maybe increase the taxes for like super wealthy people <laughs> increasing taxes that's a topic jeff loves to talk about <laughs> I, I spoke about super wealthy people i didn't speak about jeff did you say worthy or wealthy w wealthy that's the middle <laughs> just right in between okay jeff is neither worthy nor wealthy okay I gotta, exactly. I gotta, I gotta. so yeah i was speaking about like the top 0.1 oh, i see what i mean like, like the, some whatever like like yeah, like Jeff Bezos billions. type yeah. of yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Yeah, um, yeah, or even like Elon Musk, whatever. Like, and I think that's a thing. What's like much better in Europe in general that the scissors not as far. Like in Germany, for example, we don't have like a big minority. We don't have like many people living on the street. We but also we, we, don't have a lot of rich people. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we have a few rich people, but yeah. you can't compare anyone with american rich oh no this is like this is some next level the amount of like m like fuck you money people i know here yeah. you know like the types of people who would just fly you in first class to just like let them tickle their balls a little bit in germany you don't have any in germany yeah no it's not a good sugar daddy market nah, let me tell you that you know it's like <laughs> la is definitely yeah, it's not a good sugar daddy market. Yeah. yeah so yeah. i think that's like the bigger thing um to like and that's why like people have to take guns and whatever and go into like gangs and that's why like all the gang shit is happening and i think if people would have like easier way to earn money and real proper money without doing gang shit we don't wouldn't have the problem people ha would, would uh having guns mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. i mean yeah i see what you mean yeah it's just hard to compare because germany is such a small country yeah. And like the US is just based on, it's also built around immigrants and it's like way hard to have such a big country yeah. with so many different influences. Germany has grown over the years and it's mainly, now it's changing, right? But like it's mainly been Germans, right? Why a country like Switzerland is doing so well. They haven't had a lot of like diversity also, yeah. which also makes it like easier in some ways. So it's hard to compare, but I see what you mean. Yeah, now I don't have a solution for it, but yeah. yeah. Raising taxes, that's the thing we're going to do. <laughs> I don't know about that. <clears throat> Jeff, how do you feel about taxes in general? I think there should be zero federal taxes. 
Federal taxes are illegal. This country was founded upon getting away from taxes. I see what he's saying. I don't disagree with that wholeheartedly. I would say there's a reason rich people want to come to America and not necessarily Germany. Yeah, there's sure. A, I for mean, sure. this is the land of opportunity. Yeah, yeah true, for sure. Like, true. hundred percent. Yeah. If you were to judge by how many people try to come to America versus any European country, there's not a comparison. No, there's true, a, true. A, the reason for that is for opportunity. Yeah, but people who are like super, super rich, they already, they don't need opportunities anymore because they're super I think rich. It, you know it, what I mean? It it's depends. like for yeah. us, like we are trying to grow, there shouldn't be like too hard taxes. I get that. But for like people who don't need opportunities anymore yeah, because yeah. they already made it. Well, right. I think the difference is the mindset of like Germany. Why people move to Germany? If you want to have a safe life yeah. and you want to have an opportunity, you want to be employed and have a very safe, li stable life, Germany and Europe is the place to go. If you want to go to the top, America is the place to go, yeah. which is why it's so hard. You know how many people come here and want to go to the top, but then because it's a system that won't allow you to bounce back they end up on the street. That's why there's so much homelessness, right? That's why like, you can go so far in America. That's why people who want to do something with entertainment or entrepreneurship, it's better to come here because less restrictions. But I think if I wanted to live a life where I'm employed, if I want to work as a uh, in, um, insurance merchant or something in Germany, Versicherungskaufmann. <laughs> Yo, I would move to Germany, man. I would spend way less money. I would have free healthcare, free tuition for my kids. Germany is definitely the place to do that. But if you want to, what I want to do, do something in entertainment, Germany is not the place to do it. No. So it just depends on what you want. I think that's the, you know, where you should go to. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But also when you talk about the poor, you talk about the wealth gap, you can blame governments and central banks probably more than anything because what central banks do is they debase the currency. So inflation is here because they increase the supply of money. Yeah. And when you debase the currency, the people that have no assets, the poor, they're the ones that hurt the most. So yeah. we might have some assets and when they debase the currency and the inflation happens, we're probably okay because we have stocks and crypto yeah. and shit. Yeah. Bitcoin was founded upon that, yeah. upon centralized money is not good. Riley thinks it's good. We disagree. I love him very much. <laughs> Riley. You're a dumb kid. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of factors that go in. Yeah. yeah. Fuck I yeah. Definitely see that. I love I love how political we're getting here. I think like in 200 years, or like not 200, maybe like 50 years, crypto will be the only currency or like the main currency. Hot take, hot take. Let's pray for that. Well, because you know that you know that Jeff put his entire 401k savings almost into crypto <laughs> right at the peak before it crashed. How was that? Not at the tip top peak, <laughs> but it was but it's bad close timing. Up there. Yeah, it's just my 401k. Fuck it. I mean, I'll be dead before 65 anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got four four years left. I mean, come on at this point, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a couple of years. Yeah. Hey, How is the, okay, let's be real for a second, right? Yeah. How much are you making these days? What's your net worth? If I Google Fabian X Arnold net worth, what shows up? What means net worth? Like how much money I have or how much money I make? Both. I mean, because you're doing TikTok. I just want to see the numbers because you talked about this before, right? You're doing TikTok. You have what, like 2 million on TikTok? Yeah. So like how does, because I know numbers for YouTube, but like how much money do you, do you have sponsors on TikTok? How do you make money on, with on, TikTok? On TikTok, to be honest, I don't do any advertisement. Okay. Right now, because it's quite hard to find the right partners for TikTok. Okay. If you find the right partners, it's good money. Yeah, it's similar to Instagram, but a bit higher maybe. Um, and from the app itself, like YouTube, the creator fund, yeah. it's so much less than YouTube. So per yeah. day, basically, I get whatever, like, let's say 1 million views a day. On one? That, on TikTok. TikTok, yeah. Um, that would make me $7 creator fund. Dope. $7, <laughs> here we go. That gets you an acai bowl. Half an acai bowl <laughs> in LA. <laughs> Half an acai you bowl. Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. So, and with one million on 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 YouTube, even if it's YouTube Shorts, yeah, you would make like way more. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like TikTok is like you can definitely blow. It's TikTok has the most viral potential. I feel like, but yeah, then right now to monetize it, it's kind of difficult. But it will it will come. It will come. Time, yeah, time will exactly. come. Yeah, people exactly. like companies are jumping on it right now. So um, give it another year, and then a lot of big companies will like. We'll close it.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, lot of uh, big companies will jump on it. So, um, so what's your main source of income then, right? So do you some modeling? You do TikTok, but you don't advertise. Modeling. You do modeling, TikTok just modeling, for the validation, right? Modeling. All right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Modeling. Let's start from the bottom. Modeling. Super hard. Okay. Um, because the world is kind of racist right now. <laughs> The, the world was against always racist. Yeah, yeah, it's against white people right now. Hot take, hot take again. It's uncensored. Let's just okay, go. Good, good. Not my words. In, no, this I'm is just, like the first. I'm word. just saying in in modeling. Yeah, yeah. Right now, white boys have the hardest chances to book jobs because everyone just wants to have black guys, Asian guys, mixed guys, but not proper white, <laughs> all American looking boys. All right, as a German, right? as a German, as a hot statement. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. You got me nervous for you right now. Now it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You know, we live in a very woke, woke place right now. I agree, though. It's, it's. I get it. I get it. However, I, I think after like you know, hundreds of years of like you know being, basically having in any industry being in a disadvantage for being of color yeah. I think it's fair to swing it a little bit the other way it's gonna come back but I feel now like. you're hurting white people now you're hurting white people yeah, yeah I should, so should, I disagree should with be that. like just a good mix you know, you know? I, I don't know if that's true though I still don't know if that's 100% true because yes there's a lot of diversity coming in but I still believe that like the major the majority of modeling jobs I mean I think it's, it's not, still it's, it's not still white you think so you think there's uh, more black or uh, like I wouldn't, F- I wouldn't I wouldn't say like it's more it changed. It's more edgy, even if it's white edgy. Okay. But it's not the so like commercial. white edgy, like a white trash, or like what are you talking like with, with edgy? Like you mean like a white guy, but white like white guy with like buzz cut or like even okay. colored hair or like whatever, like Heidi, Riley. <laughs> Who's Heidi? <laughs> I thought he said Heidi. I mixed up the first name and the last name. Heidi the H from the Hershey. Last name. Okay, Hershey. 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 Um, yeah, Riley. Yeah. Like Riley. He looks like an enemy. He that's knows. what he went. That's the, the happiest you've ever seen. <laughs> He's so happy about that right now. So yeah, yeah. Um, and those those people, those guys, they book jobs. But like mm. the commercial looking guys, yeah, like a pretty still, guy, like yeah, you, like, like a beach hair, and you know, I wouldn't say pretty, but thanks for the compliment. I would I, say like yeah, the old like Abercrombie, all American. Abercrombie and Fitch. Ones. Yeah, like I think Jeff falls in the category. You yeah. seem like I think he did good when when Jeff was at his peak as a model was in the eighties, yeah. and he was a great 80s. time. In the eighties, like yeah, seventy five, right? Yeah, he's six. He's fifty nine right yeah. now. So in the eighties, he was he was at his peak right now, and um, he was that because that was in right. That was mainly all American blonde yeah. Yeah. Abercrombie type models. I saw when I when I was modeling in New York. Still, there was one season where it just shifted hard towards Koreans. That was that was in that season in 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 in, in New York. So that's when you know. I dyed my hair black. I'm not even kidding. Like I actually, in Singapore, I looked almost Asian with like my um, my comb and everything. I, was I like saw black pictures hair and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so about modeling, there's not much money coming in every month. But with modeling, like it's going through there zero. Like okay, not anything. <laughs> All right, so we're starting off strong. <laughs> zero money from modeling. All right, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Zero money from modeling. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically during COVID, I haven't done any modeling, so I'm go- sl- slowly going back into modeling right yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Um, so seeing some agencies in LA, that's why it's like zero right now. Hopefully yeah. it will pick up a bit. Uh-huh. Um, and then um, Instagram is, I would say, average... 10 to 15 a month 10, 10 to 15 what k like grand oh from like from what though from sponsorships or sponsorships yeah. oh, okay i see what you like mean yeah ten, like 10 i would say 10 average let's okay. say 10 average then so we what have, kind of sponsor are we talking about do you do like like suit bra- or like you're not doing the bang energy brands. right no, you know, no 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 <laughs> like fashion brands and okay stuff. yeah fashion yeah. brands last time i shot for genesis uh they flew me in for a scottish open for the um golf tournament golf I tournament i can see that yeah 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 like i wasn't playing golf but i was yeah. there to promote the car brand okay dope um, yeah so stuff like that or like even uh auto toilet or stuff like that yeah, yeah. beauty stuff um yeah like, so like ma- like fashion male beauty lifestyle influencer yeah, lifestyle. type thing. Yeah, yeah cool that okay. kind of stuff but not like trash stuff so i'm trying to like reduce all the trash stuff and trying to get more into like dior prada more like the high fashion yeah what else tiktok Let's say, because sometimes the job is coming in and it's like five grand or whatever, 5K. Yeah. And then sometimes nothing's coming in. So let's say three, 
100k a month like ever okay yeah so it's like 13 um production i found a production company last year for okay. image movies and stuff um so in, i had in germany or in germany yeah germany? but doing it like worldwide because i've been working with freelance videographers yeah. um and last year during covid i did like quite good money with that yeah um, because like for example during covid what? people were like yeah because like image movies um, oh, okay yeah for social and stuff yeah. yeah people people are still like filming image movies yeah um for hotels or like uh car brands and whatever and one um image movie um is like around 10 grand or even okay more, even less cool yeah so that was quite good money and i've been also like doing um social media consulting service oh. so um you're such an entrepreneur i love that yeah, yeah so i had like one hotel i did like i have two employees and they were like one of them is videographer photographer was like creating the content and one the other was like uploading it so we were basically mm -hmm, like yeah um, taking over the instagram channel and like consulting with like concepts and stuff for like social cool. media growth yeah and right now i'm just concentrating on like acting in la um at acting basically nothing coming in right now i think acting is like for a long time nothing yeah. i think it's like it's like stand-up comedy what i'm doing I mean, good luck making money with stand-up. Yeah. I flew to Miami, did some shows. You know, they pay maybe like a hundred bucks for a show, but yeah. you're flying to Miami, you fly yourself out there, you pay 800 for a ticket. So do the math on that one. It's yeah. like, you know, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, acting, um, same so thing. So act, acting is a long-term thing. YouTube, trying to, trying to, the typical German, like the old Arnold Schwarzenegger coming from Germany. Okay, one, yeah. Like one to, have, to, to, to work for that. Look at life. your pecs, by the way. Can you bounce them for a second? Just yeah, so we get no, some viewer attention. They're like too, too strong right now. I can't bounce them. <laughs> they're like too blown. They're too strong to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they're okay, like too hard. Like I'm too, sorry. I'm sorry. You're soft because you're not training them proper. Well, he does have some soft titties, doesn't he? Let me get a little feel there. That's, that's real nice. I'm not like <laughs> super hard. And I'm not even like flexing right now. Let me just blind feel these. This podcast took a weird twist <laughs> right there. Right at so me near like 39. It got like, <laughs> see the spike of the viewer attention. Like, what do you do to work out though? How do you get those? those let's, some, let's, do, let's, if, do, let's do the money thing right okay, now. Okay, let's do so, money first. So I jumped so much. Fuck. Okay, yeah, it's the so, money thing. Yeah. Um, Thanks for keeping us on track, you German uh, boy. I always organize this guy. Um, so yeah, I don't even have anything else to say. But I just you're doing like quite well. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing quite well. So though. it's like so it's like between like ten to fifteen k, and then whatever comes in. Sometimes like some more jobs coming in. Sometimes some less. Yeah, that's it. It's crazy, but, but Jeff. At the height of your modeling career, how much were you net? net like how much were you making with modeling when you were doing all the like? Old men's underwear in Tennessee and shit like that. It depends. Like you told me, like through a year, like monthly. What's yeah, monthly? monthly I guess average. I had some like forty k months. Forty k months with modeling. Yeah. What's, what what was that like the average? But the average, no, the average was probably ten k. Yeah, a month. same as me. Pro, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And did you have regular clients like e-commerce or something like yeah, that? Yeah, e-commerce. Yeah. Some of the uh, department stores like Dillard's, Macy's. And yeah, I did Macy's and Bloomingdale's. Amazon. Yeah, I did, did Amazon like Brooklyn. Yeah, maybe hold it up here. I'm just nervous. It's going to like have some, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But they were also kind of nice because they take care of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you. I love shooting for like, I didn't like modeling so much for like some reasons, but like I love when I was in New York and I would do e-com, like the commercial jobs. In the beginning, I was doing all the runway stuff and I went to Milan and all that. But then I shifted the brand towards more commercial and it was so much more fun. And they fed me. And as a fashion model, you can't fucking eat because I was too I was too big. My chest, they told me I have the big, soft, bouncy titties. They were like, no, it's too big. <laughs> you know? big so I to, they told me I had to lose my chest muscle. You know what I mean? So I stopped working out. So you cut it out of your body. Pretty much, yeah. That's yeah, what right. I did. Yeah, it's commitment, you know. No, I switched to like a cigarette and cocaine diet in Milan. It's fucked up, man. But then I went to New York and all of a sudden you go to like Bloomingdale's and they, they you get there. There's a fruit platter. There's oatmeal. There's like all these fucking kale juices in New York. And it's a good life, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you get yeah. paid like $1,000 for a day. Yeah. Like that was a day rate for a half day at Bloomingdale's. And it was like, I think I can legally say this. It was around that, whatever it is. But it was good money, right? They've been putting like twice a week or something. And that's like your, Income. that's how you live, right? Um, but it's hard to keep that up, you know? And it's also kind of, it's kind of like hard to also stay inspired with it. That's how I felt. Yeah. Like just doing e -com, doing these like poses. Because you, you get bored of it, right? You feel you get bored of it, and it's for like people that don't, that are I don't want to say stupid, but that <laughs> are not entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Okay, elaborate on that. 
You're saying the, the, models? P- the models, yeah. I oh, think the models, there are like yeah. many models out there that are just okay, not yeah. entrepreneurial. And the best thing they that could happen to them is just like one person tells them, be here at 9 50 yeah, and uh, show up. And yeah. just like, and for me, for example, I think my my day is too worth it, too much worth compared to like one thousand dollars yeah because like a full day i can work so much and yeah like long term i can can accomplish so many things exactly and mildly you do one-off job it's not going to get you anywhere yeah necessarily, you after know? like after like for example you making 100k a year after that COVID happens you don't make anything anymore yeah and with like if you Depending build up your own that, brand yeah. whatever like you basically your income increases from year to year so i yeah. i can look back on like i started 2018 or 17 to earn my first money with like social media yeah and if i look back on my um the statements, statements or whatever statements, yeah. whatever i see like improvement every single year and it will keep going hopefully that's a good that's a very german way you know <laughs> yeah. yeah long and steady wins the race yeah. yeah but you're you're trying to get more into modeling right so right it, now but just for not for ecom that much i would do some ecom just to finance for example my own fashion brand because my own fashion brand costs me like i would say between 50 and 70k right now um what is like, it is it like suits shirts speedos men's dick socks men's fashion men's fashion in general like okay. jewelry uh, we will to have some to- uh, other toilet um, okay so not at the beginning at the yeah, beginning yeah. we will have like two products Stay tuned what it is. All right. Cool. Ooh. I like that. Um, it's super high fashion. It's like high quality, high fashion, um, super arty. Um, and you will definitely love it if you follow this guy. Me? Oh. Mario. By the way, I thought it, you weren't supposed to say the motherland. It was the fatherland. That's what my the dad. The fatherland? My dad said, by the way, it's the fatherland. Not Wait, the in world. Germany or it's what? It's neutral Germany. land. That's just what my dad said. You're going to have to tell me he's a fucking idiot. In Germany? Oh, yeah. In Germany, it's actually the fatherland. Okay, so because it's correct. even in our national anthem, yeah, für das deutsche Vaterland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I always feel weird as a German just even saying the national anthem because it has like this weird Nazi connotation <laughs> yeah. to it. You know, it feels so strange. Yeah. For me, it's so crazy as a German, right? Having seeing the American pride here, because we don't really have it in Germany. We don't have it at all. My yeah. dad has it. Your dad. <laughs> your dad's finger <laughs> raging up there. Food, not, <laughs> not, that, not that, not that, not that. But my dad is the one who's like having all the flags out there when wow, World Cup that's is. rare. When, yeah, when World Cup, World is. Cup, yeah, that's World Cup, and he's having like all the flags out. But if you go cool. to like the south, I mean, you have like straight up like Confederate flags everywhere. Like, do you know about the Pledge of Allegiance? No. Like every morning, did you do guys do it in school? Is that a yeah. thing? So uh, yeah, you sing your uh, pledge allegiance to the American flag, flag yeah. to the flag America, of the United America, States of America. America. You know, like imagine a German doing that. Imagine a German going like, I flag des Deutschen Reich. It's not a good look. It's not a good you look. Do a TikTok, yeah. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good, right? It's not the same. And also, like our was heißt national hymn? National hymn? National anthem. National anthem is like kind of boring. It's like <laughs> Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit. But aren't all national anthems kind of boring? No, I guess not, isn't it? How does ours start, really? Oh, oh say can, can why you do I know this stuff? Why do you <laughs> by the dawn early light. We did do that I mean, for TikTok. So, America's do at. At games, we used to, and like, you know, uh, team games, we used to love singing the national anthem. Wow. In yeah. Germany, we hate it. It's so awkward. Like, it's so yeah. awkward. Especially in the, in the, if you see like a German soccer team, you know, yeah, it's never, all these dudes, it's sing. all these dudes from Senegal and Turkey and all, the, you know what I mean? This is like on the team and then it's like, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's strange. It's a different world because we have the guilt, you know, we have the German guilt. Yeah. The yeah. new world, the new, like the younger population now isn't as much like home American pride, which I think is kind of unfortunate, but it's also, you don't really want too much of that. Yeah. But I personally think that America stands out above the other countries. Do you all disagree with that? I mean, it's definitely. Your pride is standing out. No, I mean like measurably people want to come to America more than any other country. Yeah, for sure. Cause it's a country Every of immigrants. Every single ethnicity. Wants to come to America over every other country. Many people want to, but I think also many people really don't want to. I think it really depends on what you're yeah. into. Yeah, but for sure. I mean, if you come well, just statistically, geo- though, for sure, because America is a country of it's such a 
fucking big place in the country yeah. of immigration, right? America is built on immigrants, right? America was basically, except for Native Americans, <laughs> shout out to Native Americans, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Americans really fuck you over. But besides from that, there's not much there, right? So there's a huge opportunity yeah. for like, it's a country of immigrants, it's a melting pot. Whereas like European countries, it's much more like sheltered in that way too, you know? Um, yeah, it's changing now, it's changing a little bit for sure. Um, for me, it was crazy because I went to the South for the first time for Thanksgiving. To Texas? No, I went to Louisiana and Alabama. I went to Birmingham, Alabama. And um, that's when all the stereotypes become reality. Literally. I went to the... And I told the family in Alabama that I've never fired a gun. Have you ever shot a gun? No, Jeff has for sure, but like you. <laughs> no, not no. ever. Go to Alabama. <laughs> oh, yeah, my I gun. I told them... Oh, you're a gun. <laughs> <laughs> my gun. Yeah, how, much is, gun. how much is your dick right now? Do, how much is your dick right now currently? How much, how much is your fuck? <laughs> <laughs> how long is your schlong? How long is my schlong? Yeah. Like two centimeters? Good. All right, cool. Keep going. Sorry. So, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> right there. it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I want to, you know, it's I'm, black. Yeah. Uh, so, I went there and I told them that I've never fired a gun in my life. And then they stopped the car, right? Pulled this gun out. I was shooting like Mountain Dew cans with the rifle. That's and dope. I suck at it. I was so bad at it. And they thought probably, oh, this guy's German. He knows how to shoot. And I was like, yo, we might have caused two world wars, but we also lost both of them. We're not good soldiers. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not good at this. So, yeah, it was, that was, that was America for you right there. And you're going to, you're moving here, man. You should do this in Vegas, like a shooting range. It's yeah. kind of fun. It's kind Maybe. of scary. Maybe actually, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. It's just loud. Like loud and Yeah. One of my, my roommates, he has like a lot of guns in my neighbor room. Wait, what? What are you saying? What? He had guns in your what? He had like the guy who's living, living like next room. Yeah. He's oh, a, here. He's a ranger. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he has like whatever, like how many guns. Nice. Does life. it make you feel safe or worried? Safe because he's my best buddy. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. See, yeah. That's, see that's what like pro gun advocates say. They say they feel safer with a gun around as opposed but to... Actually, yeah, I, I can see both sides though. I mean, it depends on like kind of person. Oh, like, no, I can't I, agree. Actually, yeah. I asked him like, would you ever shoot someone? And he would, yeah, if he would like hurt someone of my interest, if he, he would like just shoot someone. Okay, cool. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, I think so, yeah. It's a, a good bit friend. Just, yeah. good it's friend. a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right. What a friend. <laughs> if I have like Number any... Number one If I get into a fight and I will kill for you. you. It's like, <laughs> you see that guy Mario? Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot Done. that motherfucker. Say less, brother. Say less. Yeah. So back to your penis though. All right. So you're saying it's two centimeters right yeah. now. Is that something you were also bullied for by Jessica in third grade? Yeah. Okay, I see that. Yeah. 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 So that's why... And swimming. Okay, I feel that. You know, it's yeah, it's a swimming thing. Swimming thing, yeah. yeah. And then you cold. wear like spo speedos. It's speedos cold, and in Germany, you know, it's shriveling up. Yeah, and then it's not even two centimeters. Then it's one and a half. One and a half mm. centimeters. I know yeah. it's all been there. <laughs> Once it gets to one half, we're not talking inch. We're talking centimeters. That's like less millimeters. Than millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Belly button. Barely existing. Yeah. 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 That's why. No, I get it. I think there's a correlation between people who want to like be don't become big on TikTok and their penis size. Right. It's yeah. like you can try to overcompensate. Yeah. So yeah. True. The bigger the TikTok but account, actually, the smaller the dick. I think. Actually, um, except for KB Lane, the most followed TikToker, because th I'm sure he's packing. Like, just put it out I there. I think he has a third leg. I have a friend. She's in Miami right now, and she has those sucking things that are like sucking her titties, like really like making them larger. Um, natural fat. How do you say? Liposuction. Like a breast implant. Yeah, a like breast, a breast enlargement, implant, enlargement, enlargement, like enlargement, but without implants. Like a boob job with fat. Yeah. So she's like, there's a machine sucking on her boobs, like for a week or something, and then with a vacuum, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. it's like sucking on your skin, and it gets like larger, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then I've and then a doctor is actually like infusing some fat, and then the boobs will stay like that. So natural yeah. enlargement in fact that's and that's what i did that for mine that's penis. why my, that's why my dick that's why my about dicks, your penis my, jesus christ you just like it was a fruit <laughs> slip that's why my pecs are so like soft dicks. and bouncy because i did a breast in the the natural fat all implants right with that. all right but <laughs> what i wanted to say is all right girls can do that but she told me boys can do that 
Oh, boys. Let's like, go to Miami, the, everybody. The, the doctor <laughs> going actually, to Miami. The doctor actually yes. does that a lot of times for guys. On their penis. Yeah, like there's a sucking machine sucking on the dick for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that just for that. You know? <laughs> a sucking machine on the dick for a week. Yeah, making a laugh. That sounds lovely. Yeah. I Wait, think so after like a few days. It's Wait, kind but of I mean, <laughs> but I mean, there are penis pumps, right? But it's not penis temporary. Pumps. So the doctor would like a penis um, pump, like full time, like for but seven a penis days. Penis pump would be like temporary, right? It would increase the blood flow and everything. But then this thing, you would also still inject fat into the dick. Not during your pumping thing. It's more like it will stay on there, and then um, after like seven days, when it's like larger, uh, he will increase like put some fat in i don't know like you have to google that but then shit. you have a fatty dick <laughs> i'm not a doctor but there are opportunities to make your dick okay. bigger all right we're there we have our title for this youtube video uh <laughs> question jeff if you could choose to have a long like kind of fatty limp noodle or small and a big. small or a small hard dick what would you choose like a long shower because I feel like if you have fat implants, I feel like it would just be not as like hard. Oh maybe. yeah, maybe yeah, right? true. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a scientist. huge, huge like bratwurst. <laughs> yeah, a huge bratwurst, right? Would I rather have a small hard <laughs> dick or a large limp dick? I mean, yeah. definitely the large limp dick. Yeah, Are you saying it's like a nuisance or something it's an annoyance (laughs) (laughs) what do you mean well because i think okay because you i mean obviously you'd be packing more we'd be like fuller but then i think you wouldn't be as hard you know and i feel like that's what you can't have a hard on anymore it's more like always like wibbly oh even with viagra That's how Jeff Jeff is pushing 60, so like his is always like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so it doesn't really make a difference. I haven't used Viagra. So Easy, I don't you've know. never used Viagra. I don't need it, you bro. You know, Jeff, I don't think it's a very normal. It's not a very common thing. Well, not for Germans, but... Maybe not, because um, that's the thing, though. Germans, like we, we use less of the... like We use less drugs. We use less... Yeah. For sure, for especially maybe not drugs in Berlin. Because Berlin, you know, like we yeah, definitely yeah. hit All the right. average. It brings it way up. But <laughs> uh, prescription drugs, like we use less Advil, so much less. Like What's the amount Advil? of Advil is uh, like aspirin or like oh, painkillers. Right, yeah, pain Germans killers. don't use painkillers really. It's no. like very rare. I and here they pop it like TikToks all the time, right? And um, same for like Adderall. TikToks. <laughs> TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, Viagra, Jeff. So that's like a... Um, Sorry. Uh, let me just say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have not tried it, do not do that to yourself. Because <laughs> once you try it, you realize there's another level to your sex game. Yeah, it's like Coke. I used it the other day. Yeah. I don't no, know. Like, I haven't day. done Coke, but I would like... Use the other would day. Would say the I same. The other day. Come on, come on in. Come on in, Riley. Come on in. So uh, Riley. Yes. Riley, thanks for being on the podcast. Thanks for being behind the camera, in front of the camera. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank welcome. you so much, Riley. I appreciate wow. you. Wow. Great. I, I appreciate love this. <laughs> so Riley, I don't know if you're in frame even, if you check that. No. But like, um, let's turn that thing around wow. real quick. All right, you're in frame. Uh, That's beautiful. Look, look at us. Look, we're all black here. So Riley, <laughs> you said you just recently used Viagra for the first, first time. time. Do you want to elaborate on that? <clears throat> yeah, so Jeff gave me some Viagra. <laughs> of course. Of course. I, I, why do I know this? He goes, <laughs> Wait. he goes, never subject yourself to that. Here you go. Awesome. Right? <laughs> Uh, that was only for an emergency situation. It was an emergency. Okay, okay. Because I have a emergency porn... Emergency used to exit. I have a porn star friend. Okay. Who came over. All right. Uh, <laughs> What'd you guys do? Uh, Tell us he more. He used to exit. She, yeah, it was... We we had anal sex. Nice. Yeah. He used to exit. She pegged you. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Who got banged? <laughs> I actually was the one who... <laughs> What? Uh, what? Yeah, I know. Mind blowing. You actually were on top. Okay, good. It was kind of like, you know, I felt like a quarterback that was going out to like the biggest game of his life. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, the yeah. training I've ever been up. Like it was this moment. Because when you it when was you, Eminem, one shot, one opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna let it slip. So yeah, I took the Viagra. Was it a fifty milligram or hundred milligram? Half, half pill or full pill? He did like two uh, pills. I took like it was like three quarter pill. Wow. 75. That's a fucking grandpa pill I gave you, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I was ready. 90 year olds take a full pill. So, I think it made me feel weird. I'm going to be, I'm not going to lie. I flushed felt a little bit. I was pretty flushed. Yeah. 
It was, it was maybe not the, the Do best you only one. feel it like down here or is it more like I, I get like I was in definitely like flushed like in flushed. my face. I think and, your yeah. whole face it just increases blood flow. It doesn't loca- locally do it, right? Right. Yeah, no, I was I was f- flowing. So flowing. can you compare flowing. it with like a really hard booster? For booster? The gym? Like a pre workout. Yeah, just the, yeah, the dick actually, off. yeah, yeah. Like my face, like yeah. when you have like a pre workout, like a pre workout, just you get the hard on. Yeah, so it was a little interesting. It kind of gave me like a little bit of like anxiety almost. Yeah, but, I see that. Uh, but I was ready for it. But I, I mean, the, the anxiety you must <laughs> feel because I know that porn story you're talking about, and I've seen she very openly mm-hmm. presents us with the people she's worked with, mm-hmm. right? And there's some, there's some really like gold stars in there. Literally, like, this, some, is not, this is not an exaggeration. This is not like, an exaggeration. Like, the, I've seen her take, like, back, we're talking, like, big black. <laughs> literally, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. literally Like this, this, this <laughs> like these two microphones, like, you know, not, yeah. So how did you feel following that? How, 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 how long is your schlong currently? <laughs> no, not this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's like, I, uh, all right, cool. It's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's, all right. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a losing game to answer that question because no matter what yeah. I say, somebody's gonna be it like, you two added two inches. But then if I add two inches, then it's like you obviously added. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So basically, what had happened is she had had a scene that she was gonna shoot. So she was all like anally prepped. She took uh, Imodium, which Reno Gold has talked about on on your channel. Yeah. What's Imodium? Um, it basically like it's what, like the opposite of a laxative. Yeah. It's, so it yeah. like makes it so that like your poop doesn't like it makes it constipated it essentially constipated. Right. Yeah. yeah but you're not taking it the girl's taking it correct all right <laughs> yeah that way that she's like all clean so she, like they do that before like scenes and stuff like that all right see um but then her scene got canceled mm. and so then she texted me and she was like yo like i did all this prep like we, we need a new actor yeah do you she want was to like, jump in she was like my booty holes already yeah i don't know basically she was just like she's like do you want to fuck me in the ass mm. and i was like yeah of course <laughs> um, what kind of question is that? What kind of question is that? Currency. And so, she, yeah, she came over and uh, was all like prepped up and everything like that. And it was. How did you start? Did you feel like a prostitute a yeah, little bit? How, because how, she was like clearly coming to you with an intention. And then she came over ready. She goes and she's using you for a sexual favor, essentially. <sighs> Or did it feel not like that at it all? It felt okay, because we're like, we're just, we're friends. Okay, yeah. And so, right, but, and like, like, how, but how did it start? Like, did she just like, she, as as soon as she went into the apartment, she was like, blood naked and like spreading out of the couch? Or was it more like you were cuddling on the couch, watching a movie, and then it was happening? It was super chill. It was like, she came over, we kind of caught up a little bit, talked about what we've been up to in the week. Um, and then she just dropped the pants. And then she was in a, she was in like a sundress, no panties. And so, yeah, it was just like, actually, no, she, she started with, with give me a blowjob. Okay. Yeah, but what, but what was the conversation about before she was giving you a blowjob? So was it more like, oh yeah, like how was your day? How was work? Whatever. No, how's, your whatever. How's, how's your family? Right? Yeah, you wonder exactly how's your mom <laughs> doing? I can tell you exactly how it like happened. That. We were on the bed and like I was talking and I was literally talking about just like random nonsense. I was like, oh yeah, I just like cleaned up and we were talking about like how I had stuff in boxes and I've got a wrestling dummy in my room and we were talking about the wrestling dummy. Just talking about random shit. And then we like sat there for a second and I was like, so you want to get your ass fucked? (laughs) It's literally how it started. Kids, take that home kids. Take that home kids. That's how you seduce a girl. (laughs) That's what I said. She was just, she was using. What Jeff should have done in Burkheim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was trying to get fucked in the ass, no? (laughs) Which by the way, there are sex parties in LA because I went to one a couple months ago. So, I got sex, you on yeah, that too. Yeah, it's different vibes though. So they're like different vibes for sure. Sex. It's not a tour. Yeah, yeah. But they were like hip hop sex. <laughs> hip hop sex. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking to Drake versus fucking to. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely an amazing experience, hands down. Uh, every every hole was perfection, like a like a perfect game of golf. Mm, <laughs> it was a mm, yeah. It was a eighteen holer is what it felt like. Eighteen. <laughs> no, Can we tell them the <laughs> truth about um, the climax or lack thereof? Oh yeah, no, I didn't. I did not finish. Mm. What do you? You? Know, I heard that some people on Viagra they have less. They have more trouble feeling down there. Do you think that happened? So to you? You, I just didn't really seem like I had trouble feeling, but um, I've also talked. I don't know if I've talked about this here or not. I have never, to my knowledge, come the first time that I've had sex with anybody ever. Shut the fuck up. Even with Mario. 
I knew. You know what? When you before you finished that, I knew that was. Gonna, <laughs> Sorry, I knew he was gonna. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I was very upset about it actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's never happened. And usually with girls, like, we'll have to kind of have that talk of because they're not used to a guy not coming or like being okay with it. They'll be like, yeah. they're like, are you, are you okay? Do you want me to do anything? Like, should I like do something more? Was it something I did? Yeah. So yeah. usually I have to have the conversation with them and be like, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> um, we still be friends. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's like an intimacy thing for me, I guess. I'm, I'm much more of a giver than a receiver. And I think the first time I'm with somebody, I'm so focused on like Same. learning their body I agree with that. and like figuring I, yeah. out everything that like feels good for them that I'm not really like, focused on myself so it doesn't happen but luckily she's the same way she like never comes with partners it's like an anxiety thing okay um so like you know scenes and stuff she's interesting she's so you both didn't come correct but it was amazing it was an hour of just the roughest sex i've ever had in my life and then <clears throat> what made was, you stop i was exhausted like you know when you're doing cardio and it's at that point where your lungs are like <sighs> it was like that <laughs> like like burning in my Damn. lungs like i was just tired of dripping sweat but i was just like i don't want it to be i don't want this to be over i've never i've never been i put it in her butt okay 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 and I've, I've had anal sex with some girls before and usually like you gotta be nice and slow you gotta warm up you gotta whatever <laughs> she literally like i put it in i kind of did like one she slow was just thrust. asking like are you in no i did like one slow <laughs> thrust and she literally was just like put it in. you're already in she goes she goes Oh, you can go wild. That's what she said. She goes, you can go wild. You know? She goes, you don't got to warm it up or anything. <laughs> and I went, does that make me feel insecure? Bet. Like you know, kick, she's like, like, oh, like, oh no, I usually I got to warm up, but with usually like, <laughs> oh, oh no, you good. good. Go for it. Go for it, champ. Like, she, was no. saying, she was saying that she like never has to warm up for even like those. She, she's, okay. she's just ready to go. Which is she's wild. in the right. Prof she's doing the right work. It's she's crazy. Doing, let's be honest. Like, she's doing the right. <laughs> Do you think she the right porn stars like that? I don't think so, honestly. I mean, she, because she was even saying it's kind of like an oddity, like how, uh, yeah, I don't know, how how ready she is at all times. Holy fuck! That's was that the one single shot? Uh, are you going for another round? I mean, I hope there's, I hope there's another one, but it's right, it, it, if you if you see that, depends. like I said, we're we're just friends. And like it just kind of was like a, a situation we're just of friends, but we just rage fuck for an hour straight every once in a while on the Tuesday. A <laughs> situation of need, you I know. Fuck with it. Yeah, that's amazing. So happy to help a friend. No, exactly. Hey, if there's any friends, friends out here watching, no. I got that's why you. I love having you guys because we can always help each other out with anything. It's like <laughs> it's an amazing um, dynamic. I love that. How is your uh, relationship life going? Do you have any like um, girlfriends, partners, anybody you rage fuck casually on Tuesdays? Anything? No. Actually, nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. You're just Concentrating solo flying. on work, work, work. Yeah, you're Korea. married to work? Yeah, married yeah. to work. Okay. Uh, working 15 hours a day. 15 hours a day? Roughly 12 to 15. Whoa. That's solid. So, That's yeah. that German work ethic, yeah. Yeah, waking up 6 a.m. and then basically finishing up at like 9. Okay. So this, this is basically work. Yeah, for, for sure. For you as well? Yeah. yeah. So it's I mean, yeah. I count this as work. If yeah, I, right. Yeah. yeah. So, um... No time. Do you think it was difficult, like dating or being in a relationship, with, like having social media and all that? Like, mm, yeah, it's harder to find the right person. I guess it's easier to find someone. Yeah. Than if you don't have social media, but if you want to find the right person, it's actually quite harder. So, I would think. you want if you had to if you wanted to date somebody, right? Because we talked about it. you said I you want to have a account. family at somebody at some point. You have a second account. Yeah, if I go to clubs or whatever, and then like I like a girl, and I just give her my second account. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. What? Why is that? Because just because like people, I I I trust people, but it's more like people look at you differently if they know like see the numbers because mm, like yeah. And I just want to like interesting. First so you basically things. just weed out the if people want to whatever meet you because of followers or something like that. You yeah. kind of yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Interesting. So I'm um, and the last and actually like I told myself I'm never gonna text a girl on Instagram and yeah. try to hit up on her because my ex girlfriend I did that and that was like not my biggest regret, but. I would never do it again. <laughs> yeah. Because like the I the first she's watching this. No, the first thing the biggest. The, the, no, that was like she was my biggest regret. Yeah, yeah. Like the, it was my biggest regret to text someone on Instagram because I get like it, yeah. um 
the first thing you fall in love with is not the character, obviously. Yeah. It's the Instagram image. Mm. Um, and it's so much cooler if you meet someone at like a party and maybe like at the first like views, you don't even like think she's so super sexy and attractive. Yeah. But then like you speak to her and she's like so, her character's so like outgoing and so like, for me business driven and she's like super clever i just realized like i really like clever girls mm, and like okay, intelligent yeah. girls yeah and girls that are able to live without me basically independent girls yeah independent yeah. girls important, yeah, um, and i think this is like so much harder for me than just instagram and social media I yeah on yeah. outside appearance and i think the love you can um have for someone like that is so much stronger than if you fall in love on like social media. What a wholesome answer. I love that. That's beautiful. Would she date a porn star? No. <laughs> okay. Cool. Like if she, if, it depends on her character. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think that would ever work because like, um, yeah, like I always think like three steps ahead and I don't want my kids to have a mother that oh. uh, has like so many mm. films out there. Interesting. You know what? That's a bit, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I just couldn't do it because I think just living with the, uh, I don't know, the, the pressure th of living up to like, you know, the the BBCs out there. It's just rough. You know but, what I mean? Yeah. But she has also said that she doesn't like. Want to have any kids. <laughs> no, no. Well, also that. Um, <laughs> but no, she specifically said that like she doesn't enjoy like work sex. Like it's work. Okay, yeah. She's it's work. It's she's, literally like, like this. You're yeah. always thinking about angles. You're thinking about like it's not like something that porn stars are allowed to just sit back and enjoy. Interesting, yeah. And so that's why she was specifically so like when she came over, the like first thing she had said was like, "I'm so excited to have off camera sex." Yeah, because it's like, yeah. So she specifically said, even if there's like giant monster dicks out there that like your partner, if you're dating a porn star or whatever, is taking like. It's very rarely like an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Would it be an issue for you, Jeffy? What do you think? If your girlfriend was a porn star? Yeah, I probably wouldn't be into it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I would okay, do cool. it. Something if there's any porn stars out there to. watching. I'll date you. I'll, I'll date, date you, you no matter what. No matter what. Oh, cool. but the moral of the story was that the Viagra helped, I think, but didn't like it didn't it wasn't transformative. It didn't it didn't feel like Go fuck yourself. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I think I've. I Would think you do it again? Which one? Viagra. You have a text really... from N. I'm just afraid oh, that that's her. That's, that's her. her. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Oh my <laughs> God. Mrs. Angel oh my God. God. He literally. He She's literally, asking for another round. He literally got a text from her. I'm going to read this. Can I read this? Yeah. She goes, Hope shooting is going well. My butthole and I say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Better to say, what? they say bye. <laughs> I hey, love it so much. You have to do this without Viagra, and then we'll we'll reconvene. I'm just afraid that if if you take Viagra, it's almost like, and you then, uh, oh sorry, sorry guys, if you do it with Viagra, you build even if it's not because of the Viagra, and you you bang it out, you knock it out of the park. I feel like it would just make you psychologically depend on that shit even if it's not true it's almost yeah, like I, if you I, yeah. I googled it beforehand because i was just like i didn't know much about the effects of viagra and I, I did a bunch of research and it basically sounded like everything was like mental yeah with the, i can see that and so yeah. going into it with that like yeah it doesn't like it i don't feel like it affected me yeah i think if you take a placebo that's probably placebo status where people are like, okay we're gonna give you like 100 milligrams of viagra and then you go and you just rock in the hardest dick the, 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 like the veiniest schlong because i'm already ever. doing that anyways you know right? so it's like, right. it's like oh, this was just, for you. It, was just the, it was just the fallback because yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. and you know what i don't think i would have needed it the only reason i thought maybe i would need it is because in the past when i've done anal with girls it's been kind of difficult to keep it hard because you have to be kind of like gentle and like yeah like soft with it and everything and i'm like so like worried about like <laughs> yeah for sure like yeah. making it uncomfortable for them and in the so moment. kind of hard but like i don't think i would have needed it in this case because she was like i said she was literally just like just do whatever yeah and so i don't think wow so but isn't that boring what just doing whatever yeah or no that, like, i mean lit. like boring that she didn't feel anything no, she felt it she for felt sure. It. She felt it for sure. I mean, she texted me afterwards and was like, "My asshole's so sore." So she felt it, <laughs> and like, and she was saying like, 
you know she's like right there right there that feels so good like all that kind of shit all she right. definitely felt like felt it it's just that she like so it was not like okay just whatever use me <laughs> kind of yeah it was the vibe i guess still but yeah it's just that it wasn't more uh it wasn't different from using like any of the other holes you know what i mean okay uh, whereas like right. with a lot of girls like if they're not used to anal or whatever like you have to be like more yeah. careful and gentle and all that and like yeah. with her it was like she's a pro she's, she's a, a pro she's man a pro. She's, she's a, a pro that's the, yeah that's the advantage of dating a porn star it was fire yeah. 10 out of 10 Being 10 out of 10 Every recommended hole. guys we all understand it's certified by by uncensored podcast we 10 out of 10 recommended um so just to, to end it fabian so in five years right you're like in la right now what's your what's your goal like what do you worry where do you want to be at in five years in five years i want to have two kids a big two three big companies um wrapping the shit in a netflix series and being in a duty-free store on a perfume campaign thing i love the specificity that's very specific that's, that's all good yeah <laughs> and in five years jeff hopes that he can still <laughs> please lot. people without viagra so we're all it's having true. goals here <laughs> we have dreams <laughs> we all have dreams <laughs> we're all having dreams well thanks for coming on appreciate that check out fabia on instagram all this stuff we fucking love you make sure to subscribe to uncensored where we give it to you raw i guess that's raw. The, that's the tagline that's the tagline. <laughs> peace out motherfuckers <laughs>